So here you are on Steemit. You've got to write an introduction post. The question is, how do you write a good introduction post so you can get people to follow you, comment on your post, upvote your post, and re-steam your post? We're going to tell you how, coming up next. Hey guys, my name is Spencer Kaufman. This channel is all about making information known to you. We've got software reviews, plugin reviews, online hints and tips, social media how-to, and a lot of information on how to be successful on the Steemit blogging network so you can grow your following, spread your message, and start making money online. Today, we are gonna talk about how you can write an effective introduce yourself post in the introduce yourself category on Steemit. Writing an introduction post is all about putting the right things in there to get people to take action on your post, decide they wanna follow you, upvote it, re-steam it, and comment on it. There are so many things that go into writing a successful post that we're not gonna do a numbered list. There's not three things, there aren't five, there aren't seven. It's a combination of many factors that you need to decide what works for you and what doesn't, put them together and create an awesome introduction post. So the first thing you need to do is come up with a good title. Now, the title is important because it's what people are gonna see in their Steemit feed. Uh, examples of some good titles would be things like your name, and this is your first post on Steemit, or I'm new here on Steemit, something that tells people you are new. Now, they know you're new because they're gonna see your reputation score at 25 or at a low number, but still, your first blog post should maybe be called my first blog post, welcome to my introduction, or thank you for viewing my introduction post. You want something that is gonna entice them to click and also that tells them, hey, I'm new here. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I'm waiting and super excited to learn. So make sure you could say that. You can use action words in your post. Stuff like, I'm very excited to be here. Finally, I got approved. And put some emojis in there, some big smiley faces or, something like that, wink, wink, winks, or things that aren't over the top, but that convey your excitement and your animation and your passion to be on Steemit. The next thing that is very important is your first five lines of text, or three lines, depending on the screen size and the browsers people are on. But those first lines of text are all that they're gonna see. It's an excerpt. It's a certain number of characters, like a Twitter tweet, almost. And that is what they're gonna see under your title and your image. So we'll come to the image next. But those first lines need to be something different than your title. So if you say in your title, your name or my name is, or I'm so happy to be on Steemit, don't put that in your first few lines. Write something else. Start out with something that's gonna hook them. Maybe you have a good story you're gonna put. Start there. Then in your second paragraph, come back and say your name is such and such. But whatever you put in those first like four to five lines better be something that they are going to be very interested in because if it's something enticing, they can see your title, then they'll glance at your excerpt and they'll say, wow, I'm going to click on this. The next thing that's important is an image. Your thumbnail image needs to be something that they are going to want to click on. Now, historically, this has always been things like action photos or things of really beautiful people or stuff that is enticing, like cute animals, things like that. All the stuff that goes viral on YouTube, right? Anyone will click on them in their thumbnail. So for you, how can you do that? Basically, put a picture of yourself in the thumbnail so they can see who you are. Now, do not use the same thing as your profile picture. The reason is they're gonna see your profile picture right next to your name and your post. So. Really, your introduction post is gonna consist of several things. Your profile picture, your name or your blog name, the title for your post, the excerpt, and a thumbnail picture. So the things you can really control are obviously all of them, but for the introduction post, have a great title, have a good introduction in excerpt, and have a great image. Now this image doesn't need to be a thumbnail size, it just needs to be the first image in your post. So whatever your top image is in your post, that is the one Steemit will retrieve for your thumbnail image on your Introduce Yourself post. So do those things and you will be well on your way to writing an excellent introduction post. Now, 
there are a few more things I would like to mention that are just a little bit of hints and tips on introduce yourself posts. Number one, make sure that you have your text spaced out. Do not write blocks of text with like 10 lines in them. The reason is a lot of people really they don't read introduce yourself posts. They just click on them, go down and put a comment in and then they hope you're going to follow them. That's really unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So if you write shorter lines of text, like maybe three lines and then a couple enter, enter, and then three more lines and then maybe a picture, three lines, three lines, another picture and on and on. That will increase the chances that people are going to read that text because shorter lines are easier to read. People can just glance at them and see what they say. Whereas if it's a big block, it's almost intimidating. So keep your lines, your paragraphs short. The next thing, add pictures. Put in that first picture, that will be your thumbnail picture. Add in at least two or three more pictures. People want to see pictures. They want to know about you. They want to know what you're doing. They want to see stuff you've done. They want to know what you are going to do on Steemit. So that is very important. In your text, you need to tell them what your intentions are on Steemit. What are you going to blog about? What are you going to write about? How are you going to portray this information? Do you do it elsewhere? Do you have a similar blog on another platform that they can follow as well? If you tell them exactly what you're going to do on Steemit, they will know whether or not right then and there if they're going to follow you and continue to like your posts. The next thing is, and this is very important, shout out to anyone who turned you towards writing an introduction post. So for example, if you haven't written one yet, you would put in at Spencer Kaufman in your post. Now, don't just put at Spencer Kaufman in your post and leave it at that. No, write a few lines of text saying, thank you to Spencer Kaufman for telling me about this or showing me how to write a good post or whatever it may be. But a, a shout out is not just putting the at and username there. It is a few lines of text with that username in there. If you do that, I will comment on your introduction post and follow you as long as you follow me. You can't just put an at Spencer Kaufman in there. I have to have some text in there so I can see that you really mean it. And I will do that. You will gain a follower and you'll gain potentially my comments on future posts and upvotes as well. So that's it. Those are the very important steps of writing a good introduction post. Good title, good first few lines, a great thumbnail image, and then make sure to keep the rest of your lines short, your paragraphs short, and add in some more images. Those are the essential tips of writing a great introduction post. I want to hear from you in the comments below if you have any other questions about writing introduction posts or writing any posts on Steemit. If you need help with your title, with your thumbnail images, anything at all, simply post it in the comments. In addition, take the time to glance through the comments below because a lot of people may have had the same questions you've had and you guys can learn so much from each other. I'll get on there whenever I can, help you out, and post all the time. In addition, if this is your first time to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. It's all about making information known to you so that you can be successful online. Until next time.